we do find a Bastion this is really nope it's gonna be a Diva instead so just for just to help out Nasty help him get to his affiliate ship which we'll do so later on or soon uh, shout out to twitch.tv slash hey that is nasty and that's gonna be your plug for the day we can't really plug too much in overwatch related events so here's superb we are gonna go straight for the point redux going for a quick little scout and they meet a brigitte into their face gonna be a semi goats they do have cruzy though on the widowmaker and not cruzy using the space that his team is gonna make to get the shots but now jun and redux with a kill onto two a look at that genji just cleave everyone up the problem with running the widowmaker right now and especially in night market you can actually become pretty useless if superbia there fighting onto the point instead the sidelines are not good enough for the Widowmaker when you play on point instead of outside but looks like GEXP still gonna run the Widowmaker in this volley you know have a Venomine there onto the right hand side Amit is close to the prime range gonna back off for the time being DJ Destiny though does get a takedown onto Ahmed and wants to go for Jun. We do have the Valkyrie coming up soon, but it's out Jun with the Dragon Blade. Gets stunned up, gets taken down by Shun. In the meantime, the Mercy wanting to go for the Reds. Redux with the takedown on the Cruzy. Going for DJ Destiny next. And the Pulse Bomb is available here for Superbia. Yeah, can Redux actually get it out? Gonna back off instead. Still a contest, however, from Superbia's side. Finally, Soul Stealer losing his life. Wasn't able to get enough souls right there. And. In the meantime though, 3 ultimates ready here for XP and it's gonna be a rally right now from Shun. GEXP just keeping on together, getting all that armor values. Graviton Surge is available here for DJ Destiny as well. Gonna go on to the left hand side. Amit and Redux ready with 2 ultimates. Transcendence is gonna come out in just a bit for Soul Stealer. So Superb can go for the offensive tranche or just make a pick with the Pulse Bomb. June now switching to the Fire. Very very smart to go against attack heavy composition with the Fire. And especially now Kruzi has switched to the Tracer. Keeping an eye out on the Zarya, having to deal with Jun. Cool. Lessons comes out from Judge, and Jun flying way too close to the Russian. Will fall this time. Transcends from Soul Stealer, but it's not gonna be enough to keep Superbia here in the fight. <laughs> the Zenyatta going for the solo cap, and DJ Destiny out in front. Self Destruct doesn't get much there from Nasi. Cruzy with the takedown, and so it seems like Superbia just struggling to actually get into the fight. No psych for GE? I uh, don't think so. Uh, looks like it is gonna be Shun instead. This is the roster that they are fielding, so that's that's what I got, guys. I don't have the rosters of the teams anyway. I just trust the teams to, uh, to be honest, to just be verified with your rosters, especially in Battle 5. Jun right now making it rain onto Eminence. And here comes Superbia, trying to break the shields rather from the Brigitte and the Reinhardt, but Jun kind of struggling on both ends. Gonna be a quick low flank, and Cruzy now does have the pulse bomb available. Exe playing onto the point, and now we have a rally here from Shun. Sandbarrier is popped by Eminence as well, and now four are affected there by the shield. Rod Barrage there from Jun gets countered immediately. Graviton Surge does get eaten up, I believe. No, it's not. It's outside instead. They get the D mech onto Nasty. The Diva gets destroyed. XP finished strong with the team kill. Absolutely solid performance, and we have a shatter from Biguru out of nowhere. Celebratory shatter right there. Have we got the replay of that fight? Yes, we did. Look at that. The bio are perfectly placed. The sound barrier, as it decays, still enough to actually shield them from the oncoming attack. Score now 1 to 0 in favor of Team XP here in our first game on the Chang Tower. Okay. GXP. Just look, look pretty strong so far, running that triple support, double tank, one DPS lineup, which we did see a while ago in the tournament. On the other hand, we have the GOATs now for Superbia. Redux gonna be on the D.Va instead of a DPS. Nasty switching it up with the Brigitte. Interesting that Nasty is the one switching off D.Va. Maybe Redux could have gone on the Brigitte instead. Will be a judgment call here from Superbia as we do see both teams gonna come out onto the stairway area. Okay, quick little zoom there off the action on the point Ashun once again in the sky but this time will be like a caged bird has only so little space to work with the Gura have being booped up the Reinhardt really low needs to get healed up but it's only gonna be Mercy and Zenyatta very very dangerous right now for Beguru who gets charged up good bubble right there from DJ Destiny but it's not gonna be enough the gold comp here working out in the favor of Superbia Shun able to get a kill on to Redux from out of nowhere with the custom shot and judges there to go for some pot shots here comes 
Superbia to get T control off the point. XP has no choice to drop down, but already judged with the right click there on to Tango. The Moira falling is such a huge, huge pain in the life of the tank. Strike strike right now from Cruzy to keep a cut onto the point. Right now, Rez comes out onto the Guru as well. Should now into the sky. Wants to go. For the Lucio, Nasty gets a quick little discord and he might say that is nasty instead. 98% right now here for Shun. First point still going the way of neither team so far. Finally, XP though swinging tight in their favor, exa playing exactly what they need to do to get rid of the GOAT onslaught. Very, very smart there from Judge and Cruzy going to the rotation, not the right hand side. Good call there from TM XP. The GOATs actually will struggle to get into that area for the time being and the Rocket Barrage now is available here for Shun. Gets a quick little concussive and now we have the rally from Nasty. They're gonna go for the push. So Turbia looking for a target and here's the Rocket Barrage though from Shun. He gets two so far. GAXP right now cleaning up a team kill there on the Superbia. All six falling to the GAXP squad. Gonna be a spawn camp right now here happening for the XP team but judged all the way in the back line. This will be a very very safe defensive for XP. They want to play around this corridor. They don't want to fight in that choke point. They will lose out because their enemy uh, team has the Burrita and they don't. Redox now on the McCree. Needs to shut down that Pharah with that Peacemaker. Getting a headshot already to start things off but DJ Destiny will go for the Graviton into the Dragon Strike, Soundbarrow was popped by Soul Stealer to try and keep Superbia alive, but it's not enough so far. His two have fallen to the trade. So, and now Superbia turning things around. Good boop there from Soul Stealer, and the tank is off Avid on to the point. Redux with the dead that takes care of Shun. Eminence just flying around with the Valkyrie, with the Contest, and that was actually very, very smart there from Emmy. He knew that he could stay alive in that fight long enough for Biguru to come back on. Judge with the takedown once again, and the Sinyata has been absolutely superb so far. Transcend is now in response to the Graviton Surge, and GEXP just staying on with the course, keeping this point in their possession. Amazing stall plays there from Eminence, keep the point in their favor. And this looks like GXP has something to prove, guys. Very, very strong lineup from them. Eminence, just that mercy play. Absolutely superb. Shun and Bugur though, ready with two ultimates. And it might be a quick little rain check here for Superbia. Not gonna use the Rocket Barrage yet. And now it comes out. Gets Soul Stealer, who was on the floor. Abbott loses the buyer. And then his life. There's gonna be a D Maker right now. All the nasty two have fallen. And it's gonna be stunned from Redux. Not gonna be enough so far. Literally a kamikaze play from the Farah. No more contests so far here from. Superbia and Team XP takes the first game. Play of the game. Play of the game there goes to Beguru. Let's just check this one out. Slam came out and the Rocket Barrage perfectly timed. This was the last fight actually and Beguru setting things up very very well allowing Shun to get to but honestly, the best moment of that match was just here, Eminence, with with the Mercy play, keeping on the point, just floating in and out, that was really, really smart. Sadly, Superbia not getting the pickoff, we'll see what teams the teams are going to be coming up with, as, you know, we just enjoy the map real quick, just flying around, zooming through to the plaza, of course, the first bridge. is going to be such a contesting point as well, it all depends on how they are going to play it out. So looks like XP gonna be running that mercy here from Eminence. Judged on Diana, Shun on the McCree, the Guru on the Reinhardt, Cruzy here. We playing that Doomfist and DJ Destiny on the Zarya. On the other hand, here's Nasty with the Zenyatta, Tango on the Mercy, Amit on the Winston, Redux on the Widowmaker, Soul Stealer on the Genshi, and Jun gonna finally play out the Diva. So Superb, you're gonna go for the dive, don't want early get caught into the bridges, just wants to engage in on the other hand. We have Cruzy on his Doomfist, very very good Doomfist player right here, Judd's on the Ana as well. So lots of potential picks here from the XP squad. And let's go into our game already. Looks like the defense however will be at the, at the corner area, they're gonna give the bridge. There, so they're not gonna go for any environmentals. They don't want Cruzy to actually fall down and die. He's gonna 
He's just gonna chill for the time being. Oops, sorry about the sponsor thing. I didn't actually fix that up yet. Redux still able to get the shot there on the Shun. And now Eminence forced to bring the McCree back up to life. Here comes a dive here from Superbia. They get a kill on the Shun. Cruzy with a takedown as well. And there's gonna be de a deflect soul stealer trying to hide near the parasol area. Shun with another takedown. And the XP team looks like they're gonna be holding the plaza for the time being. Redux out in front. And just behind that tree, we do see the Widowmaker taken to the farm. An absolute defense here from Team XP so far. Solid, solid defense right there. Just keeping on the plaza area. They have the Reinhardt, so this choke point out in front is something they want to keep. Cruzy given the space as well to go for the punches to stay away from the canals here on Rialto. Uh. Cruzy now already with the size of Sam. Looking for a punch, but it's gonna be nasty. Shutting this down. Here comes Superbia. Nope, gonna be a shatter now from Biguru to put everyone onto the floor. DXP just out in front. Still not really gonna work out in that push. Superbia still has the damage. And now an anime boost onto the Reinhardt. Soul Seer trying to get away. Transcendence now comes out, and here comes Superior diving in once again. Dragon Blade now is available. Jun loses the mech, and we now have the Dragon Blade here from Soul Sealer. Graviton Surge in response, however, from the Zarya of DJ Destiny and XP right now. Look, absolutely dominant. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty solid defense so far here on Rialto. On the other hand, Tango and Redux ready with two ultimates. And we now have a Reinhardt switch from Amit. So, well, well, FYI, there is a stream delay of 3 minutes due to the tournament nature. The so Superbia gonna go into the no no usual choke point once again here on Rialto. Fire Strike now being tossed out. And now Superbia out in front once again. Periodic Grenade is gonna be there. And Superbia, just, literally, this has been a back and forth in those two steps there for that Reinhardt. Dead Eye now from Shun, he gets to once again. Good setup there from Beguro. Redox though, finally getting a snipe out onto the McCree. It's not gonna be enough. Superbia losing out members left and right. This is not gonna be a, a good offensive here if they're not gonna be able to get past that choke point. Maybe they should switch it up with a dive comp. Maybe they should go for the Orisa as well. But Amit wants to take the Reinhardt on. He needs to get the Shatter off, however, onto the backline. Get Cruzy and Shun. Cruzy now has switched to with a Maker and is on the Infrasight mode, looking for a shot there onto Redux. Maybe quick roll 1v1. Self Destruct into the side. Gets absolutely nothing. Way too far off the mark. No ultimates ready here now for both sides. So DJ Destiny charging it up. Has 100 NG. He gets the Thunder on to Jun. Here comes XP out in front. The Graviton Surge is available. It looks like XP has been is very, very strong in this defense here. Exactly what you want to do on Rialto. Just put your foothold at the corner, at the entranceway from that bridge, and just win it out by a solid defense. If XE is able to hold them here, it's going to be very, very hard for Superbia to actually keep the defense on their route due to the spawn advantage. I thought DJ Destiny was going to go for the grab on the bridge. It's going to be very, very risky. And DJ Destiny being the sneakiest Zarya of them all. Now goes in, gets the Mercy, gets the Genji as well. This is absolutely terrible here for Superbia. The Transcendence way too late there from Nasty. Redux out in front. You never want the Widowmaker there. Shatter comes out. Shun with a takedown. Gonna be XP getting the defense. An absolute clinical show there from EG XP. Where's my Discord on? So yeah, I'll just give me, give me a sec, guys. I need to turn that off real quick. My bad, my bad. But anyway, so we are going to move on to the Team XP's attack. And that is not a good sign there for Superbia. Look how, look how far off that is. It's very, very disappointing there in terms of their attack and they really need to have the most efficient defense you will see a first bridge defense here from superbia all the all the def team comps it all depends on where you want to set up their 
Well, if you want to go for the Plaza defense, you usually have the Reinhardt, Zarya. To go, you usually put them at the corner here. So I'll just give you a quick little lesson. They usually gonna be here. That's exactly what Team XP did. The Reinhardt, Zarya have the Widowmaker in the back line. So it's gonna be a Plaza entrance defense. Also, there is the first bridge defense where you run the Orisa here and. You go for the Roadhog there on this side and just go for the hooks, go for the halts and get them kills as much as you can using the env environmental aspect of the map. The problem of that defense is they can go for the flank here onto this side and just go through the plaza and turn it around. The last one is the dive of course from the from the back of the plaza all the way here to the front just using both the buildings and the empty space there of the plaza to you know, the fruition of your tank line you usually see the widowmaker the tracer the mccree you know you always have a hit scan you can also have a fire on the attack as well so that help, hopefully helped you out shun I'm gonna go for the flank once again all the way in the back line and once again, stream and stream delay. I hope I have explained it to y'all who are interested in the chat. The Guru though goes for the slam, puts Diana into the sky. Nasty falls to the uppercut there from Cruzy. Redux though able to turn it around. Does get a trade back with the snipe onto Cruzy and Amit with the kill onto Eminence as well. So now the problem with Superbia, they have lost the bridge already. It was an uncontested push there from Team XP to the other side. And now the payload just inches away from victory. Here comes the Guru. Causing chaos once again gets hooked up, but he's way too tanky. And a buy grenade there from Diana, able to shut this down. Here comes Team EXP for the win. A very quick Rialto game. This Team XP here showing their pedigree and showing how well versed they are with their strategies. A lot of discipline. You can see a lot of discipline here from Team EXP. They're able to go with these plays with the grabs. They're always able to hold even if they lose a member or two. There's absolutely disciplined play there from the XP squad and kudos to them. Finishing Rialto in 5 minutes and 4 seconds of match time. That was very very fast there. So, of time usually unmatched. Third Bye, map man. here out of 5. And we'll see if GE Team XP can win this out here, seal the deal with a point A defense, or will Superbia actually prove to be superior and go for the reverse sweep? It's gonna be a little exciting here. It's if they can actually take it back. Gonna be Tango here on to Diana. We have Amit as well playing the Mercy. Will we see a Wrecking Ball here from Superbia? But, but on the other hand, just checking out what XP is gonna run. They're gonna go for the classic Junkrat Widowmaker. So you'll expect the Widowmaker to actually set up in one of these three buildings. The left one, the center one, or the right one. Just get those pot shots. It's usually this one. It's usually this is your sideline to get a forward advance in for your team. Get, get those picks as they come in on the end then you put the junk rat here on the right side just go for the spam as much as you can it all depends on how team xp is gonna play this it'll be very very dangerous on their part actually to try and deal with a dive comp here from superbia so now in our game number three GXP versus Superbia waiting on the action. Then we Jun dashing in to Prey already. The Genji out in front. Superbia tossing a few shurikens out and let's stay on Cruzy. This guy can get some heads already getting a headshot there onto Soul Stealer. So the dive comp here from Superbia. On the other hand, we do have a Zenyata Ana. So pretty slow. Uh, support lineup there gonna be from long range really is just supporting as much as they can. Redux is gonna be on the way to maker, gonna help get, get some help there from the Zenyata with this corridor. On the other hand, Cruzy already reroting. Gets to gets a DMAC as well on to Soul Stealer. Oh, Redux gets the counter snipe, but he gets taken out by DJ Destiny. GXP holding steadfast for the time being. In terms of ultimates, it's Cruzy already ready with the Intersight. The Genji of June trying to back off. Superbia out in front once again. And this is gonna be the Genji backing off into back into their spawn. For now, the Intersight is available here for Cruzy. On the other hand, 
Not anything really much here from Superga going their way. They have switched to a Reinhardt Diva composition, so the Diva gonna be on with the duty. The other hand, it's gonna be the Reinhardt just trying his best to keep everyone else alive. Go for the huge shatter play. And Redux now being brought along, but it's gonna be absolutely dangerous as Shun gets it through the night market. Redux getting the snipe. Absolutely perfect play there from the Widowmaker. And now Cruzy falls to the hand of Soul Sealer. Good dive there from the Diva. Emin so needs to get this res up onto the Widowmaker. The Genji gained the kill. It's gonna be a quick low life trade. And now Redux gets a snipe once again on the Cruzy. This Widowmaker has been absolutely on fire in this fight. And speaking of fire, Nanaboo's on to Nasty. The Guru is the first to fall. Shun trying to keep some space away from the two tanks. But will hop on instead. Get some total mayhem there onto the Diva as well as a trap. But it's not gonna be enough. Judge wants that. Transcend it to try and go for the contest, doesn't get it. And now the second tick is starting to be taken here by Superbia. Self destruct available now for Soul Stealer. DJ Destiny gets the mech, and this is gonna can this be the comeback that Superbia is waiting for. Here comes Viguro though with the jump, it takes gets rid of off to Tango and the Rip Turn now on the left hand side. GEX, we trying to turn this around. Another snipe there from Redux onto the Rip This guy has been able to get those snipes, and look at that cruise he falls to the hand of the Widowmaker. And Redux right now, absolutely. Will be popping off getting the third tick and this is a, such a good show there from Redux this has been a highlight reel rather from Redux and just watch that again look at him snipe that tire snipe the oncoming Widowmaker and just snipe absolutely everyone fellas look at the junk out fall to the hand smooth as absolute silk right there the finest import from France Four ultimates ready here, however, for Superbia. They have the Dragon Blade available. Such a shock being tossed on the point. Will it lead any kills? No, it does not. Biguru with the takedown. Chen is now available here for Judge. Trying to put away Jun. Make him go back to his base. He's giving a quick little spanking as the teacher wants to do so when you're being mischievous in class. But, you know, corporal punishment and all of that. Not allowed in many places. Two ultimates ready here for GEXP. On the other hand, four ultimates ready for Superbia. Superb just wants to go for the initiation and it's gonna be June on to the left hand side once again. Eminence and John's ready with two ultimates. We have the info side, however, now from Redux. Gonna be a buy grenade and then just wants oh Amit using the transcendence a little early. Just didn't want to die, I believe. And now they don't have the Transcendence in their arsenal. Good bait there from Cruzy. Just diving in. And here comes Superbia once again onto the point. Nasty out in front of as the tank should do. Dragon Blade now should be out. But Jun not whipping out as of yet. A little afraid to actually use it there. The Nano Boost now being wasted, honestly. If you get Nano Boosted like that, could have just gone for the commit. Superbia losing members once again. The Meteor Strike going for the Displacement Pay. And a little questionable, honestly, there from... Uh, Team Superbia using a nano boost like that, what an absolute waste. Could have been a lot better on their part. So Biguru gonna set up onto the right hand side. Just waiting on for Superbia to come back in. Eminence Judge and DJ Destiny ready with their ultimates in. Just in their pocket right there. Nasty and Jun do have two ultimates as well. And now Jun wants to go for the advance. Eminence just diving up once again. Cruzy now with a uppercut onto Amit. And Jun whips out the blade. Gets to so far. Wants to go for the Zarya next. Soul Stealer will fall. Nasty gets a Discord orb, but will fall this time. And this is gonna be XP holding on to this once again. Four ultimates ready here for GEXP. On the other hand, Sue are out and about for Superbia. So Nasty gonna go for the charge in. Superbia just wants to make an opening here on the second point. They want to actually go for the next round if they can. Because Team XP just showing that they are very good on both the attack and the defense can be very dangerous if they don't finish up this map in within the next 40 seconds. A primal rage now being popped here by Biguru going for a few punches there onto the Zenyatta. Gets the kill onto Amit. In the meantime, Eminence up in the air. Has the Valkyrie available. Needs to get the heal. self shock being used here by DJ Destiny. Gonna get absolutely nothing. U using it for the remake instead. The Dragon Strike and the Gravitan Surge are available here for Soul Stealer and Redux as well as the Dragon Blade, Tandem Boots, and Earth Shatter. So Superbia has so much to work with. We have the Guru though in the backline just trying to hassle the Hanzo. Amit Am gonna go for a few shots there onto the Winston as well. Gravitan Surge now comes out. Dragon Blade here from Shun to try and turn this around. Two have fallen now on the side of Superbia. Meteor Strike there squishes Redux. 
and Superbe using all those ultimates but without much success. Soul Stealer and Redux going for the commitment, not gonna work out. Nano Boost was used up as well. And in the meantime, let's just watch that replay once again here from GEXP's turnaround play. The Graviton Surge did lead to two kills, but Shun coming out out of nowhere. Cruzy in the sky as well, getting a takedown. Gonna be XP. Showing why they, bat they run the GE name. A lot of discipline here from the squad. And Cruzy now with a pickoff on to two. Believe the first stick being taken. GXP out in front once again. Gonna be Soul Stealer falling, however, and DJ Destiny with the takedown. A team kill going their way. A minute and 12 remaining here for Superbia. <laughs> Tango going for a snipe. Absolutely hit the. The post instead, and here comes Suburban. Nasty gonna go for the charge in once again. 60 seconds remaining, and can Superbia actually keep this up? Nasty and Amit ready with two ultimates. Can Superbia just go through to the center, go for the shatter, or will they call to go onto the left hand side into the catacombs? In the meantime, the XP squad having a tea party up on top, just looking down on those commoners. We have a this however, here from Amit and Bagur taking a good nap there from Tango. Just a quick little sleep well there. Iron Rage now is available. We have the Dragon Blade once again from Shun. He's able to avoid the shatter there from Nasty. Wants to go for a few points. Just there on to Soul Stealer. The Zarya getting booped all the way to the other side. And Superb right now. Not in the best spot at all. 20 seconds remaining here. And just Team XP showing that they are a class above in the meantime. Four ultimates ready here for GEXP in this last oncoming push. Jun has switched to the Tracer, wants to go for Judge. The Transcendence is available, but looks like Judge wants to face his head on. Oh, he gets the two clip, even with the Wisdom Bubble in his face. Solid play there from Jun, but will it be enough? Cruzy right now gonna go for the landing in the back line. The Tracer, the only one going for the contest, but will fall for the time being. Soul Seeder gets taken out. And now Superbia finishing only the first point. It's gonna be Team XP. Running rampant here. They need to get that first point, however, before we can assume anything. And if they get that, there is no way they're gonna lose out in this map. Honestly, the problem with what Superbia has been doing is they haven't been able to coordinate their ultimates effectively. They have good timings and they have good synergies but they don't actually execute well there was a whole part where the genji of superbia not really using that nana boost to fruition just tossing subsurgens they, they look very very hesitant to what they were gonna do and that usually is a matter of communication so honestly i'll just say to superbia they should work on their comms redux has been the mvp there for their squad making so many openings with that with omega getting those shots out and hopefully this time, he can pop off in a similar manner to keep the Gina in this game. Redux right now, staying on the Widow. We have Tengo on the Mercy as well. Oh, we'll see Redux actually switch out. Soul Sealer gonna go for the Roadhog. And Superbia just trying to figure out what they actually want to play. Another set of role swaps here from the Superbia squad. Gonna be nasty on Diana. And the best thing to do for them is they should, like, they should just understand what kind of team they are. They should understand what they play the best and stick with it. They keep going for these switches. Now June is gone to May. And the thing is, has Superbia actually practiced this? Gonna be on a recent Roadhog May composition. Could actually just get them halts out, force everyone inside onto the right side. Or can just go up on top instead just to protect their Ana, protect their Widowmaker. Looks like they're not gonna do either, and I honestly don't know where Amit is gonna set up without the rest of the sports team. That's a very awkward angle here from Superbia. But I believe I believe in them. They might be able to play this out. Good ice wall there from Jun to put Shun up on top. But here comes the onslaught here from Team XP. Amit is the one who has to back off, gets taken out by Cruzy. Beguro is traded out, however, and now Redux once again getting the snipe. He does drop down, and that's uh, actually very, very dangerous for with the Maker. Here comes the Diva, and I have the inside. Good jump in from Beguru as well to try and protect DJ Destiny. And now judged versus with the, the Widowmaker of Redux. That's gonna be a kill. Rez comes out, however, and it's gonna be Tango 
putting back Redux back to work. He's gonna be the absolute workhorse here for Superbia. Will it be enough? DJ Destiny gets back the mech and it's gonna be absolutely this is gonna be dangerous here for Redux. He's gonna get torn apart by Cruzy instead. Soul Sealer with the hook onto the tracer and Shun is just using the Roadhog to get that ultimate for that second push because this looks like GXP already has it taking down Soul Stealer. First stick not being taken and this is absolutely terrible here for Superbia. They're gonna have the Genji, they're gonna have Genji ult, they're gonna have the Winston ult and the Diva ult to contend with. On the other hand, the only thing they have is the whole hog besides the Infrasight. And the Infrasight is a good tool there for Redux, but not as good in terms of a team fight. It has to be Redux getting those shots out in the first place. And now let's keep an eye out on Shun here. Shun is gonna be the one to watch in this fight. Sorry about the camera work, and there you go. Looking at Superbia, how they're gonna check out. It's gonna be Shun now. Dragon Blade onto the side. This might be the Nail Brighton Clincher, and DJ Destiny with the kill onto to an explosive finale there from the Diva. Wolhog is out from Soul Stealer. Tango, last wings, last legs. He's just gonna fly in to relative death. Can they actually take this as Redux has switched to the Tracer? Going for the recall. Will it be enough, however? No, it won't. Beguru with the takedown. Soul Stealer right now with. The, the wrecking ball and here comes the May. Oh good bounce in from Soul Stealer and we now have a transcendence from Judge. The wrecking ball staying alive as much as he can but the Hammond has so little life to work with. Almost leaves the point, finally gets blown up and Team XP wins the whole series with absolute authority. A good try there from Superbia but Team XP out absolutely outmatching them. Play of the game there going to Shun. Just appreciate, just appreciate that Dragon Blade right there. So GG well played to both teams.